You're listening to an archived Cabral Concept podcast. After listening to this show, check out the most up-to-date podcasts available at stephencabral.com slash podcasts or search directly on iTunes. And now, welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Thank you for joining me once again on our weekend host calls where we answer our community's questions each and every weekend. Hope you've been enjoying your last couple days. And yesterday, hopefully you tuned in because we had so many great questions. I think we got through about seven yesterday on everything from what to do while pregnant and dealing with different viruses. We looked at digestive-based issues. Some people who just seem to keep getting SIBO or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth over and over again. We talked about some stress-related issues and a few childhood-related illnesses in between. So that was a really fun show. Really enjoyed being able to go through those questions with you yesterday. So if you didn't tune in, just go to stephencabral.com forward slash 792. As always, that's where we put up all of uh, our community's questions there. So Any questions that I come in that I answer on that individual show, go on that page. And then what we do is we link up any recommendations, previous podcasts, research, gadgets, all sorts of fun things. Whatever was mentioned, uh, we put it up right there. So now today's show, obviously, will be new questions, new questions that have come in probably about four to five weeks ago, I would say. You know, if you're waiting for your question to come in, we just have so many that come in. We're looking at about four to five weeks right now. We're trying to obviously move as quickly as we can while also making sure that I don't shortchange anyone. You know, that, that's the thing. Some questions I'll be able to answer in a minute to two minutes and some might need five minutes and just I'm going to do whatever I feel is best for that person for my advice. But the other thing I can tell you is this, is that every day at cabralsupportgroup.com, it's cabralsupportgroup.com. It links right to our free Facebook group because our free Facebook group is like 700 numbers after the suffix. So what we want to do is we want to be able to answer your questions on a daily basis rather than me getting to them every four to five weeks. So if it does not need to be answered by me, if it's okay for my tremendous health coaching team to be able to give you a place to start, then let's do that. Let's just have you join, join the online community. So many great people. It's no charge at all. And we love answering your questions. We love being able to support you, whether you're doing the Dr. Ball Detox and you want a little bit of support or whether you're on your own health mission, working with a health coach or practitioner anywhere in the world. We want to be able to point you in the right direction, give you a second opinion, and really just support you on this amazing journey we are all on. So thank you once again for tuning in. And let's get right into our first question. Again, today's show notes will be at Stephen Cabral dot com forward slash 793. All right. First question is from Chelsea. Dear Stephen Cabral. Hi there. I'm Chelsea and I'm currently a final year medical student at the University of Otago. Next year, as an intern, we are required to spend six weeks at a clinic or hospital of our choosing as a part of our course. I heard you on Melissa Ambrosini's show and it really resonated with me. I'm very interested to learn about the different healing modalities other than Western medicine. I believe that it it makes me a better practitioner in the future. I see a lot of cases at the hospitals where Western medicine is making people sicker instead of better, and I know there's another way. I would absolutely love to spend around six weeks with you at your clinic, if that's possible. I'm fascinated by everything you do at your clinic, but particularly in Ayurvedic medicine and how you treat people according to their body types. Please feel free to ask me any questions or concerns you have. Looking forward to hearing from you soon. Warm regards, Chelsea. Okay, Chelsea, thank you for this question. I really appreciate it. We do get a couple of requests per week. As of right now, I can tell you we do not have interns in our practice. One of the reasons is it moves so quickly and, you know, interns are going to want to obviously make sure that they're maximizing their time, that they're learning all of those things. So I'll tell you, my time is stretched to the limit, but here's what we're doing. Because of that, we are actually creating our own certification and it's going to be for health practitioners and it's also going to be for your everyday person who wants to learn more about health. We'll be doing a certification for health practitioners and basically a course 
for people who want to kind of be the go-to person in their household or community to be able to heal, you know, to really be able to help others. So, you know, I appreciate you obviously reaching out. This will happen, I believe, in September is when our first, we're going to have three levels and level one will launch in September. To get to level two, you have to do level one. That's a prerequisite because everything we talk about is in level one. So level one is the foundation for how I practice natural medicine. And level two is then getting into more advanced lab testing that not everyone's going to want to do in the first place. And then level three will be a much more advanced lab testing, doing things like DNA, genetics, telomeres, more advanced age anti-aging. So level one is the foundation, which everyone needs. You don't need to run any lab tests if you choose not to. Level two will be the functional medicine lab testing that we do every day in my practice called the big five. And then we'll move on from there. So hopefully that helps answer your question. My practice is, it's like, well, so it's not just right Ayurveda. It's a practice that I use everything. And I don't believe in any one healing modality. What I believe in is healing the person by any means necessary. And that means that I'm not going to say that I'm only going to do this diet or I'm only going to use this type of medicine. I'm going to use whatever that person needs. And that's the bottom line. But to do that, I had to study all of these different disciplines. So for you, maybe you do want to actually go to an Ayurvedic clinic and study there for three weeks or your full six weeks. And I think that would be great as well. I did that multiple times. I went to India twice, and I went to Sri Lanka once. And all of those times, I studied Ayurvedic medicine. I went to China, and I studied traditional Chinese medicine at a Chinese medicine hospital there. In Europe, I studied functional medicine with an Ayurvedic background, but functional medicine. And then all over the US, I studied, well, I studied everything. I studied... uh, microscopy, looking at the blood. I studied iridology. I studied functional medicine for sure. So hopefully that's helpful and, and everyone is kind of on their own path. And, and I, I know that you'll find yours. Just make sure you, you steer yourself towards whatever your passion is, however you want to help people. Leslie's up next. Leslie's asking, hello, Stephen. I'm someone who has been investigating and practicing health and wellness for many, many years. I'm a composer who uses sound and voice to support clients. As a coach and practitioner and physical trainer, I've been thinking about getting a certification as a coach for wellness, body, mind, spirit to integrate with voice work. Hearing you speak recently on a podcast, I resonate deeply with both your history and mindset. I thought I heard you share that you have a coaching program. I'm curious, is this true? I'm based in Spain until July, but I may be spending time in Cambridge for a month or so in August. I'm not sure if you're in town then, but I would love to meet you. Thank you, Leslie. All right. Leslie, I think I just answered your question in the last question for Chelsea. So hopefully you got all the details there. I am here every month of the year. So um, March, I do travel quite a bit. I do have to say that. So I'm not in town as much then. But I do Skype consulting, obviously, all year round, wherever I am. And in August, sure, I'd love to meet you, obviously, in August. We're booking out right now two months in advance. So it's April. And I know that I'm booking into June right now for private clients. And I also do mentorship as well. But I think there's only like one spot left for that and I do my mentoring on Tuesday afternoons. So that's just, that's everything I do, you know? So basically I get to teach with all of my passions and we'd love to support you any way that we can. Simply email support at stephencabral.com for um, anything that we can help you with. So hopefully that helps, Leslie. Marcella's up next and Marcella's writing in, hello, I recently listened to your podcast about Candida. I am so lost. I have some of the symptoms you've been describing and I have had numerous blood works done with them showing inflammation and white blood cell count being low. I get bloated, joint, muscle aches, and brain fog and irritation. I'm not sure where to begin. Is there a way for you to look at my blood work? Please help. Marcella, yeah, we're absolutely able to look at your blood work. You can do that with one of my health coaches. And again, you can email us anytime, support at Uh We'd be happy to look at that, but I'll tell you right now, you certainly don't want to use blood work as your go-to for candida. You want to use the organic acids test. There's nothing better than the organic acids test. If there was anything better than the organic acids test, guess what I would use? That lab. (laughs) Because I don't own any of the labs. I have no affiliation with them. I just choose the best one. I always test it myself. I do a double blind to make sure essentially they're getting the same results for the same person the same day at the same result. That's what we're looking at. I spend my own money to do that, by the way. Just want to let you know. And what else? So I recommend, well, everything has its own best, right? So if I'm looking at mineral levels, I'm doing a hair tissue mineral analysis. If I'm doing, if I'm looking at candida overgrowth or B vitamins or something like that, I'm using the organic acids test. If I'm looking for bacterial overgrowth or H. pylori, I'm doing a stool test. If I'm doing hormones, I'm doing a saliva test. If I'm doing thyroid, I'm doing the thyroid adrenal hormone test, which is blood and 
saliva that you can do right at home. So just remember that everything has its own best lab test. You will want to run the organic acids test. With that, I review your lab, okay? I give my recommendations. You speak with a health coach for 30 minutes and you get my recommendations, our team's plan. That's the way to go. I mean, it's easily the best way to do it. So Marcella, hopefully that answers your question. Gabriel's up next. Gabriel's asking, hi, Dr. Ball. Thank you so much for all you do. I love your podcast. I've become somewhat addicted to all the information you share. Thanks, Gabriel. I have a few questions. Hope that's not too much. Seven-year-old daughter was recently diagnosed with PANS, P-A-N-S. Her mycoplasma, which is bacteria, was not active but showed high numbers. She tested positive for band 41 for Lyme and often has cold sores. We have done stool tests and an organic acid test. According to our biomedical doctor, she has a small bacterial overgrowth, which he said he would deal with in the future. She's currently on antibiotics now for 65 days. I really don't want to continue down this road. She takes CoQ10, lysine, three Thor and Maltes, vitamin C, Nordic Naturals, omega-3, melatonin, and digestive enzymes when eating. I really want to remove the antibiotics, but it seems every time we remove them within three days, her motor tics, aggression, sleep disturbances, et cetera, back in full force. What should we do next? Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. So we deal with this all the time. Great results. Again, everyone has to kind of do it at their own level, meaning that our children's candida and bacterial overgrowth is strong. It's the best of the best. Obviously, that's what we do. We formulate the best and that's essentially it. And But we want to start people slower. We get great results, especially with ticks. Again, I can't guarantee anything. I can't give medical advice, any of those things, but I'm just telling you what I would do if it was my own daughter because that is what I would do. So I would do the candida and bacterial overgrowth protocol. I would certainly heal the gut, but I'll tell you this. If your daughter's on antibiotics, you're most likely not dealing with a bacterial overgrowth because how can you be on 65 days of antibiotics and still have like a lot of bacterial overgrowth? If you are, well, then just not use the right type of antibiotics being used. My recommendation is, this is just what I would do. I would wean off the antibiotics. I would get on the candida and bacterial overgrowth protocol. I would rebuild the gut. Then I would seal up the gut. And then I would have a nice, healthy child. That's exactly what I would do. That's a, it literally exactly what I would do. And that's it. And could you do more for the cold sores? Sure. I've talked about that whole protocol before. Uh, check out a previous podcast on how to destroy, eradicate viruses in your system. That was on a Total Wellness Tuesday, I believe. I mentioned it on yesterday's show. But if you go to stephencabral.com forward slash podcast, and um, you just type in virus, you should be able to see those protocols. And I'm just trying to look for it really quick. Right there, 760, stephencabral.com forward slash 760. Check that out. It will tell you how to deal with the viruses for your daughter as well. But the gut, you know, we have to really work on that gut first. Because why? Well, then that will help the immune system, which will then help with the viruses. So that's the way to definitely do it. But I have no problem with a little lysine, with vitamin C, and with zinc for sure. Those are all totally fine. Then the, the uh, omegas that you're taking, totally fine. I don't see a need at all for coenzyme Q10 unless you saw a definite need. But a seven-year-old taking coenzyme Q10, unless it was really indicated, it's just one more vitamin that we don't need to take right now while we're using other things. But the digestive enzymes, I certainly agree with. And that's that. So hopefully, Gabriel, that gets you on the right track. Melissa's up next. I just listened to your podcast about candida and wanted to learn more about it. So I'm here. I noticed online you sell a package that is on sale right now for candida and yeast kill off to get back healthy stages. Is this going to help me get back to normal gut health in three months? I know you don't quite know my status of gut and neither do I quite frankly, but I do know it's to the point where almost every time I eat, I'm either in pain, gassy or bloated. I just really want to make sure I'm investing into this package. It will help me. I'm currently unemployed and feel helpless with my issues. All doctors, like you said, just think I have IBS. But I know it's a lot deeper than, than that. Thank you for your time, Melissa. Okay, well, Melissa, here's the deal. Like IBS, yeah, sure, you do have IBS, but IBS is nothing. It means you have irritable bowels. Like, do you really need a diagnosis to tell you you have irritable bowels? And what does that even mean? Okay, oh, well, you have irritable bowels. Well, what do you do from there? Nothing. <laughs> so it's candida, it's bacterial overgrowth, It's all the different things in your gut that cause you to have irritable bowels, that cause it to have IBS. So there's always a root cause. So yes, the candida bacterial overgrowth protocol will help you, but you can fine tune that, meaning like you can laser in on it by doing the organic acids test and a stool test. Now you're unemployed, so that would most likely make that not an option for you, right? 
because that will actually tell you, yes, you have candied overgrowth. Yes, you have bacterial overgrowth. Yes, you have whatever. But no, I, I feel very confident. And again, I don't want to put you out, meaning that it is on sale. Uh, the price actually will be raising maybe three months from now. I don't know when that will be. We will let you know, of course. We're not going to just raise the price. But the truth is that we give you nine products for like, I don't even know what it is, but it's in the 200s. That's like an insane deal. And we try to do that really as low a cost as possible. We can't do that forever because of manufacturing, because of shipping, because of the amount of team we have, all of those things that goes into it. But that's what we recommend. Yes, the Candida and Bacterial Overgrowth Protocol, it comes with our nutrition plan. And then after that, I would like you to do the Heal and Seal but that's not how you get rid of the yeast and bacteria. You get rid of it by uh, doing the candida and bacterial overgrowth protocol. It's for 12 weeks. It helps you eliminate all of those. It helps you rebalance your gut. And then you seal up the gut with the healthy gut support and the daily probiotic support. All of that's on the website. It's all explained right there. And Melissa, we get tremendous results with that. But at the same time, I'm not pushing it on you. I don't want to push it on you. I want you to do what you feel is best for you and maybe right now isn't the right time. Maybe the right time is in three months from now, in six months from now. So I know you're in pain. I don't want you to be in pain. That's what I would recommend based on, remember, I have no lab results in front of me, but based on digestive issues, well, that's what we're going to recommend if there's no labs. All right. Melody is asking, hello, Stephen, the vessels inside my nose are extremely dilated. It causes me to bleed easily, especially when I get too much sun. They are also dilated outside, which has me dealing with rosacea from time to time. I've managed to get rid of the redness naturally. Plus, I have very dark circles under my eyes. People say it's genetics. Hello, Portuguese genes. And there's nothing to do about it. But I'm wondering if it isn't all related. Also, in your previous show, you, you said to look for gut issues. So my question is, could dark circles and dilated vessels in the face be related to digestive system issues? And I like that you wrote obrigado, which is Portuguese for those who don't know. And so I'm Portuguese. Cabral is Portuguese. My grandfather came over from Portugal. Actually, my family's originally from Lisbon in the mainland, but they moved to the Azores. So uh, my part of my family is from São Miguel in the Azores. And I'm not, of course. My father isn't. You know, we were all born in the US, but I'm like literally 10 nationalities. But I consider myself Italian and Portuguese because my mom's side, we just consider Italian. And my dad's side, we consider Portuguese because we have the traditions of Italy and we have the traditions from Portugal and obviously my last name's Portuguese and if you look at me I you know pretty much darker hair darker skin darker eyes so I, I look I guess Portuguese and Italian so I just go with that it's easy to explain to people than naming every nationality essentially that I am so and I have dark circles under my eyes and I've had them since I was essentially born my second daughter because my wife does not have circles under her eyes lucky for her although she's Portuguese and Italian as well Part of it's, you know, well, I can get deep into it. So what are all the different reasons for circles under the eyes? Well, allergies, gut-based issues, potentially parasites, uh, high levels of stress or nervous system stress, certainly genetics. When I look at a pit of body type, pit of body types, amazing, but they don't get circles under their eyes and they don't get those puffy under eyes. They can get like no sleep and you might see like a tiny bit of puffiness, that's it. But they just have that great body type which seems to do fine in terms of a lot of enzymes and under stress. They have a lot of great alkaline-based buffers, which leads me to believe as well that dark circles under the eyes can also be from a lack of oxygenation. So you're saying dilated, but I know a lot of people. And, and so I asked in India and I said, hey, you know, I, I asked one of the doctors, uh, Dr. Mauricio, Mauricia, that I was studying in, because I studied under many doctors, but he was one of my doctors in the, the Himalayas, the foothills of the Himalayas when I was up north. And I asked him, what's up with dark circles under the eyes? And because I have so many contradicting things, it's like, okay, it's intestinal base, it's viruses, it's illnesses, it's leaky gut, it's this, it's this, and this. And he said, well, it's a VADA-based issue. And I said, okay, VADA-based issue. What does that mean? Like, what are you trying to say there? Because we know VADA is air and ether and anxiety and stress and nervous system. So he said, well, it's a lack, it's a high VADA, anything dark, any dark patches. I was like, oh, that makes sense. Because when I got Addison's disease, I got, people call it melasma, usually when it's on the face, but it's a dark patch. I got dark patches on my skin around my hips. And that is actually how one of the doctors noticed, like, oh, you have dark patches on your hips. I wonder if you might have Addison's disease. I said, oh, well, I just came back actually with a saliva test that was no cortisol. I said, let's test you. Let's do an uh, ACATH stim test. And that's how I got diagnosed with Addison's. So, so many reasons for dark circles under the eyes. What did I do to fix this? Well, certainly the circles under my eyes are just back to like what I would call like normal genetics now, right? Because I've always had them. And, and again, my 
two-year-old daughter has them and she's two. And I'm not talking deep circles, just a little purple there, you know? And, and so when I look at different cultures, I'm like, oh yeah, well, you know, it's kind of there. But when I was at my worst, my worst with allergies and I was at my worst with gut issues, I had super dark circles. I'm going to post an image one day because it looks terrible. So I know what you're saying. What's the bottom line? Well, the bottom line is this. I fixed my gut. Okay, I did that. Got rid of my allergies, balanced my histamines, balanced the uh, mastocytosis, and got everything in good working order and make sure my exercise is oxygenating my body, and all of it helps. So I can't answer your question fully, but what I can say is this. When you run your labs, when you get everything balanced, usually everything gets to what your best basis genetic level is. That's my best answer, and I totally know where you're coming from. I've got those same genes as well. All right, let's even get one more question in there. Let's do this question. Yes, let's get this question in. I'm just looking at time. I'm looking at all the things in the podcast. All right, Anonymous is writing in. Hi, Dr. Brawl. I'm wondering if there are any imbalances that could cause and or natural ways to help premature ejaculation. It is a subject that people don't talk about, and so it's rather embarrassing question. However, I've just been curious if there are any natural ways to improve this that you would know of. Thanks. Okay, Anonymous, I'm happy to help, to the best of my ability, answer this question. I do know that when you study Ayurvedic medicine and Chinese medicine, what we're essentially looking at is a vata-based disorder. What is this? It's heightened mental and physical state. So the mental, like the, the air, the, the nervous system, which I was just talking about previously, would cause anxiety and would cause you to be hyper-focused, essentially, on either stimulation that you may be feeling or on not ejaculating prematurely, right? So you want to look at that. Like if your mind's always on that, you're anxious about it, you're more, it's more likely for it to happen. So the best results would actually come from anything that calms the nervous system. So I've had previous wellness clients come in, same exact issues. Here's what we've done. All right. We've used things that have naturally calmed the nervous system. So what have we done? Well, we've used magnesium. We've used something called natural calm, which is just magnesium citrate. So you may try that as well. And I would try that on a daily basis. And then if you know that you're going to have sexual intercourse, you would do that as well. You would certainly use CBD oil to calm the nervous system. I would highly recommend that. Acupuncture or acupressure to calm the nervous system has been shown to work quite well. Uh, again, I've mentioned the, the magnesium. Can't recommend that enough. Adrenal soothe would work well as well to just calm the central nervous system. It's called adrenal soothe. And then in general, meditation, breath work, and learning to, when you get in a heightened state in life in general, to calm the body down, go back to the breath. Start to focus not on what's going on around you, but rather the breath, calming the breath. That can help tremendously as well. But here's the deal. Anything that calms the nervous system anything that gets you back to the center. A lot of people use Qigong, Tai Chi, breath work, Epsom salt baths, again, relaxing the body. Some people find relief through alcohol or marijuana before sexual intercourse. I just can't recommend those because they're not healthy long-term things, right? But if they work, well, why do they work? The reason why they worked is because they calm the nervous system. Let's do that naturally. Let's do that initially through things such as the adrenal soothe, which has the ashwagandha and the phosphorylserine the uh, natural palm or the full spectrum magnesium, the CBD oil, which is the effects of cannabinoids. So basically marijuana without the high uh, is a great way to look at that. And that is what I would recommend. And I hope that you get the benefits you're looking for. I know that this is correctable and I know you will find your solution as well. Once you get out of your mind, right? Out of the mind being hypervigilant, hyperactive and, and really focusing on everything that you don't want to happen, right? So hopefully that's helpful. A great question. I appreciate you sending that in since we haven't gotten that before. So now I can kind of reflect back and refer back to this episode whenever someone does have that question. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning into another Cabral House Call. I appreciate your questions. I appreciate your listens. Thank you to everyone that's reviewed the show on iTunes. If you've not done that, if you wouldn't mind taking literally 30 seconds Go to iTunes, just type in the Cabral concept. And if you could leave a review, you can just literally click on five stars and leave your review. It can be one word if you'd like, but anything really helps. I actually read every single one of those reviews. 
it means a lot to me. Definitely gives me fuel to keep pushing this show forward. Um, I love it. I, and I um, really do appreciate you. I hope you've had an amazing weekend and I'll be back tomorrow with our Mindset and Motivation Monday. Before you go, I wanted to ask you this question. What if I could teach you in just a couple of hours how to transform your thyroid, hormones, adrenal, cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, weight loss, energy, mood, brain, pregnancy, anti-aging, or many other health-related issues? After 20 years in private practice, after seeing and overseeing a quarter of a million client appointments, I sincerely feel I have the real-world data and have found the answer you've been searching for. So what I've done is spent hundreds of hours of my own time refining what you need to know in order to uncover your underlying root cause health issues and then begin to rebalance the body and bring it back to a state of robust health and wellness. I'm going to teach you exactly what I do in my private practice so you can understand how you got here and now what you need to do in order to heal. You'll receive all of the important success checklists, protocols, and even ways to customize it to make the program fit your busy life. And you'll get all of this at a fraction of the price. Let me save you the time, money, energy, stress, and frustration of not knowing what to do next. Instead of reading dozens of books on the topic and seeing multiple practitioners, I will condense everything that you need to know in just a few hours of video tutorials that you can watch and listen to anywhere. Together, we will make this healing process an enjoyable one that you can take with you for the rest of your life. I wish you all of the best of health and happiness, and I hope to be able to guide you on your healing journey through my Health Results Accelerators. Simply choose the health and balance you're currently suffering from, and by the end of today, you'll know what went wrong and how to get well again. I guarantee it. For details, head over now to stephencabral.com forward slash courses.